morning. I hate my maintenance man. Hate him. You should not be doing yard work this loud at 9.30. Please, at least give it till 10.30. Jeez. He doesn't care. And every time I take my dog down, he knows my dog is scared of it. And he blows it in his little face anyway. Like, I mean, not directly in his face, but he does it. He knows it makes it... Oh, he's such an asshole. <sighs> okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is the fifth and final day of my mask. Today I am doing the Lumi foundation. And I did not grab it. I thought I was all prepared. Seriously, when I think about this man, my blood pressure goes up. He thinks he... Oh, and there's some people that give him the benefit of the doubt, but he's just a turd. Like he fixes, he tells some tenants, just text me, don't go through the manager, I'll fix it for you, don't worry. And meanwhile, everybody else that has to go through the manager to get stuff fixed, he will not fix it. He'll not touch, he will wait till it's property damage. And then he'll say that we never told him. But lately, like I texted in from now on because I, he will not be saying that about me. No, no. All right, so <laughs> let me quit being a jerk <laughs> and get started. All right, so we're gonna get started with the Beauty Pie Foundation. I mean, foundation primer. I usually just do one pump of this. I really need to get the, uh, I wanna get the milk primer. Okay, so I've got him doing hedges and then this dog chewing this bone like so loud, so loud. Okay, so I've got the primer on. We're gonna go in with the Lumi and I remember that it took like four pumps. But this is, I'm gonna do, I'm not gonna do anything heavy hardcore today. I will get, I will get it covered. I'm gonna start off with two pumps go from there. foundation it is just even with a primer it is just sliding all over my face okay I just kind of stamped some of that out jeez and now I do remember it doing before but and I'm sorry I don't know why I always feel like I need I need an up close because my mirror is down here but I think I really like this foundation. I don't like the way it goes. Like, it, it's not the worst thing I've ever seen, but what the hell is that? Anyway. it just smeared all over my face there were streaks everywhere or maybe it's just better being applied with a sponge but god I'd be out of the bottle in a day all right and smells good it wears light it's pretty sorry <laughs> uh, it, and it's pretty but I just with a brush that brush it just streaks I don't know so the rules apply. We've got our primer on. We're going to powder. We're going to spray. We're going to set it as best we can with no hairspray. I have not used hairspray on one foundation. So I think today I'm going to go in with the Laura Mercier. I think I'll do the Ulta. I may regret this. I have a feeling I might. <laughs> so Ulta concealer just underneath the eye. same 
Hydroset powder from Becca. Okay, so with my powder, I always just kind of stamp it in. And the reason why I stamp it in is sometimes when you put it on too early and you start buffing it out, it'll move the foundation and as sloppy as that goes on, I don't really want to move any more of it. But man, I look really old. Whew. Okay, now let's finish out the face. unsatisfactory product with the face. I'm not happy with that foundation at all. Mm -mm. I don't like it at all. This is terrible. Again, I will keep this. I will keep it because in case I run out but let's face facts I've got seven foundations up here anyway but I'm gonna keep it just in case you know you never know um, it just doesn't look good on me I, I don't know why it just I don't feel like a lot of people love it and I can see why they would love it but I feel like it's those people with already flawless skin that love it because it's got a very skin like texture to it And I, honestly, and I may love it in 20 minutes when it's already settled into the skin, but initially I'm not liking it so much. So anyway, I am going to let you guys go and I will check back with you, with you uh, after my shift tonight to see how it holds up under a mask. I kind of already have a feeling I know how it's going to go just by the way that it went on, but you never know. So I will see you guys this evening when I get off work. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. 
It's gonna be a bitch ass summer. It is so hot. It's so hot wearing a freaking mask. This is the worst. This is the worst. So, real quickly, just my overview of this foundation. I checked it once, but not a very good mirror. You know, <laughs> honestly, I did not care for this foundation when I put it on this morning. I still don't. I still don't really like it. It's gone here and right here and some on my nose. Maybe my skin is just having issues or something right now. I don't know. I just did not like it. I still don't like looking at it. <laughs> oh. Yeah. But honestly, okay, so. <laughs> my opinion of the foundation aside, <laughs> I did, for some reason, I did not like it this morning. I still don't like it now, just on the way that it looks. However, as far as the durability with the mask, which is what the whole point of this on, not bad at all. It's only missing a little bit here. I want to say this would be my number two mask and, or my, my number two foundation. Man, that heat's getting to me. It is. And this is the mask. And you can see that there's not a lot on here. I've actually definitely had other foundations that there was way more on here. So you can definitely see that there's not much on here and it didn't move. So if you try this foundation, and please guys, I'm not telling you this is the worst foundation ever. I just don't like it. I liked it the first time. So again, saying, I'm not saying it's bad. It just maybe my skin may be doing funky things and it's not looking good because of that. But if you decide to try it, this is the Lumi foundation and you do get luminous which is great for the more mature skin I definitely would recommend putting it on with a brush maybe stamping it out with a damp beauty blender but I did the beauty pie primer powder and setting spray I think in one of my videos I did not videotape me spraying but every day it got sprayed so no hairspray I cannot complain about the wear on this this is not the worst I've seen it really isn't so oh but guys my eyes okay so oh, I love NARS NARS did a good job this did break a little in my crease but I'm not surprised I didn't these little super shock shadows beautiful but they really aren't meant to last but you really can't tell until I close my eyes and show you so a lot of that may be my wrinkles so if you need a bulletproof eyeshadow primer do the NARS or the Smashbox which I cannot find <laughs> it's in here somewhere I gotta clean up my room <laughs> it's terrible it's a huge mess so anyway I'm gonna let you guys get back I'm gonna let you guys go and I hope you guys enjoy your evening because I'm tired and I'm ready to get... Oh, I know. I'm trying my new uh, cleansing balm tonight. So I will let you know in my next video how that goes. I'm really excited because that oil cleanser is good. I like it. But if this works as well, this may be a little bit cheaper for me. So I'm super excited. Anyway, now I'm going to let you go. And you guys have a fantastic night. And I will see you in my next